So, um, if you've ever seen one of my videos, you may be aware that over the years I've attempted a few art projects, and let's just say, um, every time they, uh, como se dice, don't go well. So I had a bad idea, and I decided to attempt another art project. Um, so enjoy. I honestly don't know what part of me thought it would be a good idea to film another art video. Welcome. The fact that I'm sitting here with like art supplies in front of me just already feels like a huge mistake, but today's video I feel like just like shouldn't happen, but I also like think it will be fun, hopefully. Also, I promise the camera quality and lighting gets better. I just had my camera on a weird setting, so sorry, just deal with it for a little bit. You're at the title today. I will be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I literally suck at anything like painting or like draw drawing related, so hopefully Mr. Ross can teach me something. I'm being super awkward in this video. I don't know why. It's literally 9.33 and I feel like that's just, it's too late to be filming this video. I hate when like you click on a video and like the YouTuber takes forever to like explain what's actually going on in the video, but I do need to give a backstory real quick. So this year I'm taking a visual arts class and not gonna lie, when I signed up back in like February or something, I thought it was like a graphic design class and I'm pretty sure it said like Adobe visual arts or something like that. It might not have, but I honestly can't remember because it was like many months ago, but I go into the class and I see all these like painting supplies and drawing supplies and then the teacher's explaining how we're gonna like do a bunch of like painting and like drawing in this class and it's not really graphic design or digital art like at all. And so I was like, shoot. Not that that doesn't sound fun, like it does sound fun, but I just like have never been good at that type of stuff and maybe this is my chance to learn, but I'm also like impatient and also like everyone else in the class is like really good, so it's super awkward. So today I'm leaving it up to Bob Ross to help me improve my painting. Yeah, I have this like computer monitor right here. You can probably see the keyboard like right there. I got art supplies. My mom like kept telling me that we have canvases at home and I told her, no, we don't. But she was like, no, we're not buying another one. Like we have them. And I come home and I was right. We don't have them, but I'm just gonna be using a sketchbook. Oh, there's like a bunch of other stuff in here that I bought at Target, like pimple patches. I won't be using that in my art thing though. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I mean, maybe Bob Ross will pull out like pimple patches and be like, use these. And then I got like watercolor. I don't want to make the intro too long. I also think I'm going to change shirts because I kind of like the shirt and I don't want to get paint on it, but I will see you when I change and like get my computer ready and get Bob Ross ready to teach me how to paint. Okay, I said we just started. It's 25 minutes. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us today. Why well, is this so like comforting? We can literally blend color there, so let's do it. We'll start with oh wait, this isn't a watercolor tutorial. Hang on. So then I realized that Bob Ross actually doesn't like have any watercolor tutorials, I think. I don't know, I think they're all in acrylic. So I'm just trying to follow this acrylic one with watercolor. Yeah, so there's me painting the first part of the sunset. And yeah, I promise I actually fix the lighting in a second because it's like kind of grainy. Oh, I should probably like talk while doing this, right? I don't really know what to say. My day was kind of weird. So it was my first weekend since school started. I'm actually like kind of pre-filming this video. It's going up in like two weeks. Good YouTuber, I know. I just finished my first full week of school. I was so excited to sleep in today, and I did sort of sleep in, but I woke up at like 9 something. I think it's because I'm used to waking up like really early, because I have to wake up at like 5.50 for school. I know some people probably wake up earlier. Congratulations, but like, don't be like, oh, I actually wake up at like 4.30. Like, we do not care. I'm just kidding. I'm just insecure because I like can't wake up on time. But yeah, then I like relaxed for a bit, then I went to Target to get some stuff, and then I went grocery shopping with my mom. I feel like I'm just so bad with getting like the texture right. I also feel like I do need to stop recording real quick, to fix the exposure on my camera. Finally, I noticed. Also, I don't know if you even noticed, but like it's really grainy. I don't know, it's been driving me nuts this whole time though. Excuse me for a moment. Maybe you can see better now. Maybe the lighting's worse, who knows. Okay, but like, do you see how I'm more in focus and it's not like as grainy? Yeah, it seems way easier to blend watercolor than acrylic paint because I feel like acrylic paint looks so hard to blend and I'm like incapable of doing that. My ego is gonna be so boosted if like this turns out good. Am I doing like enough? Should I like, do like another coat of yellow or something. Cause this is what I have so far. It does look like somebody did it with a highlighter. Is the exposure still acting up? Hang on. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might do some darker orange here and like have it fade into red. Okay, I'm adding my own twist into it because I mean, we have to admit, you know, I'm probably better than Bob Ross. <laughs> If you don't get sarcasm and you actually took that seriously, like, I'm so sorry. I get impatient with having to rinse it off, like, every time in between. I literally have nothing to talk about. This is why I'm, like, so just, like, dry and boring. If it seems like this video isn't super awkward, it's probably because, like, I've edited out a bunch because there's been, like, many different times where I've just sat here and been, like... Why does this not look, like, awful? Uh, hello? Like, it looks awful, but, like, maybe with watercolor, it's, like, hard to make it look, like, amazing, but, like, to get it to where it looks, like, decent, it's not too difficult. This is what I have so far, but, like, I f on camera, it does sort of look like 
a highlighter. Maybe it does look kind of bad. So now I'm gonna do some red. He didn't even say to do like a really, really dark orange, but I feel like the dark orange that I did wasn't dark enough. That made no sense, but he did like a dark orange, but then when I did mine, it didn't look that dark, so I added another dark orange, but now I have like to have less space for the red. I'm not really following this tutorial that well, but if the outcome is like somewhat decent, then I would say that this is a mission accomplished. Because, you know, compared to my other art videos, I don't know if you've ever seen them. If you haven't, I'm... <sighs> Good. Hopefully I can add some like purple or something later because I'm only using like warm colors right now and I hate warm colors. I love like green, blue, and purple. The cool colors, aka. Okay. Should I give a school update? Sure, why not? School is going fine, it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, the only thing is like lunch was actually like fun for me and I like looked forward to lunch and had like a mini little group that I sat with and like everyone was so nice. There was two lunches originally and then the school decided that there were too many people like in the lunches and it was too crowded. So they added a third lunch and everybody in that group except for one person got switched to another lunch. It's the current update. It still does look like a highlighter, but not too shabby, actually very. <laughs> Shabby. What does shabby even mean? Why is he so like comforting? Oh, but I've also been doing this like wrong. There. Mine looks very different. Let's, let's use a lavender color. We'll just brush mix it. I just want to sort of dance this around a little bit. So now I'm going to round up the yellow a bit more to look more like a sun because it seems like he did it a lot like higher up and then I'm going to get some like dark purple. Great. Now we're working with cool colors. Not going to lie. I'm just talking about like warm and cool colors to like use like proper art terms when in reality like have we seen how mine is looking so far? Yes. So we are aware that this does not look good. So we are aware that I am not good at art. I love the positive self-talk that I've been doing in this video. You know, just I feel like I haven't been like constantly cutting down myself at all or just like constantly reminding you that I'm not good at art. Okay, but why did I say at all in a country accent? But all, but all. But I have my art class until the end of the semester, which I think is in like January or something I should do a few like art updates like throughout the class to see if I like improve or anything But I do like this a lot better than acrylic paint and it's more relaxing and I feel like also I don't know I get always stressed when I'm using acrylic paint because I feel like every single time I like touch the canvas There's like no going back. What time is it? It's like 10 15. Okay when it's drying It's not looking so good it kind of sucks I kind of thought it would like look fine for a second, but cool. That's how that looks I don't know why I accidentally just like thought about like drinking the this for a second like, I just thought it was a cup of water. I am kind of thirsty. I'm kind of too lazy to go upstairs and get water, though, but I'll get it after. Okay, now we're going to go in with purple. And this episode is called Sunset Aglow, Season 26, Episode 12. There's, like, 26 seasons of this? Wow. When did this even, like, air? Oh, this was originally aired in 1992. Interesting. If this video like goes viral or something, like let me know if I should do like a part two with acrylic paint and like actually like follow the tutorial seriously because I'm kind of not doing that, not gonna lie. How do I blend the yellow and purple? Bob Ross should have told me this. He probably did, but I just like didn't listen. Yellow and purple blend kind of ugly. I mean, they probably don't mix. I don't know. I'm not like a color theorist person or whatever the thing is. No, I'm, I'm messing this up. No, it's turning like brown. Oh, no, I'm messing this up now. This always happens. I'm like, you know what? Let me like not listen to Bob Ross and then the universe is like... A mess. What if my art teacher was just like watching this and she was just like minus 10 points? What if I used an orange to like to tone down the like ugly brown in between? But I feel like that just make it more brown. Do I kind of want to try it anyway? Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Oh that was a huge mistake. Let me see what Bob Ross is doing with this blue and then we can go in with the blue. Let's begin blending these colors together. Okay, I'm gonna use this like really dark blue just because the purple is dark and just in case it goes like too terribly wrong It won't be like a huge like noticeable mistake I don't think that made sense Like there's this weird spot that looks really chunky and like not like a sunset But it like blends nicely. It just doesn't look like a sunset though That's the only problem, but we can try to fix it I should have probably waited to film this video like tomorrow or like when I got a canvas or like acrylic paint or it wasn't like 10 30 just to give you like an idea I just got a notification that I did not need to get. <sighs> Somebody just added me on Snap that I do not need. Sorry. Just to give you an idea of like how much time like passes in between like each talking point that I'm saying or whatever, it's like 10.25 right now. There's been a lot of like moments of silence, but I've just been like focusing and getting my element and using art as therapy to like just relax me, you know? No, I've just been stressing. He blends it so well. Let's put some clouds up here in the sky. Clouds. I kind of want to see if I can like find white acrylic paint though I, I'm not gonna be able to find it But like I've done like cool clouds before with acrylic paint. Yeah, it was like once though So it's probably just luck, but like I don't know how I'm gonna do clouds then with this Maybe I could add like birds instead, you know in this like area. Does that look good on camera? No, probably not I'm back. It's been like five minutes. I ran out of storage. I don't know where I left off. I don't hate how it's looking. CBH 
I, I can't tell in the viewfinder it looks terrible, but like in person it looks eh. I just need to work on like blending a lot of stuff, but okay now I'm gonna go in with some yellow to sort of like blend the area where I started putting some like orange. I love sunsets so much. And also since my school starts earlier than my middle school did, every day I see like a sunrise and it's really pretty. We do not care. I'm gonna need some water real quick, but I don't wanna like mess up the screen recording and like the timing. So I'm just gonna leave the camera rolling. I'll be back. I'm back. I also literally left the camera rolling because like I just didn't feel like messing up like the syncing of the screen recording. I hate editing videos that involve like screen recordings or like stuff like that, you know? I'm not the hugest fan of like screen recordings and all of that, but I thought I'd be nice today and I did it. It just takes me a while, but thankfully I'm filming this video like two weeks before it goes up. Why don't sunsets have green in them? My hot take of the day. Like I feel like they should. Like I feel like that would look good. Cause like some sunsets have like pink and like purple, but also like Blue? I've, is there blue in sunsets usually? Oh, oh yeah, sort of. I have been using blue in this painting. I should continue with the video. Brush against a, a paper towel. Let's have a big cloud. I forgot he was doing clouds. I should look for the acrylic paint real quick. I'll bring the camera with me. Hang on. No, I'm not. Never mind. Okay, so I have a really bad idea. I didn't find any white acrylic paint, but I found like some, and it's like almost out. But I've got a bad idea. What if it makes yellow and blue? Will that make white? <laughs> No. Am I gonna try it anyway? Yes. Why would this mix to form like a cloud color? Wait, it's not forming white, what the heck? Oh wait, you can't see that. This could be good content. It's really not. What if I did yellow clouds? What if I did like a different color of like clouds? <gasps> oh wait, it's like mint green. It's like my favorite color of green. I think I'm gonna do like little birds though, but that comes later, I think. Should I do like an ocean? I should just listen to Bob Ross. I already added this red. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna do an ocean now and then we can deal with clouds. What if we just like didn't follow Bob Ross? Oh, I'll do like this light color of blue for the water and then like I'll like layer it with like a darker blue sort of to like add like waves and like ripples. I don't think I can use white watercolor to make clouds. I feel like that just doesn't, that's not gonna work. But what if I use like water, I mean the acrylic blue paint that I have to like kind of cancel out this red just because I feel like watercolor is more like vibrant or like pigmented or I don't know what the word is. So then I sort of just like stopped following the tutorial for a bit and like tried to like make an ocean because I kind of failed to do that before. But like I also, I'm just totally confused of what Bob is even trying to paint at this point because watching the tutorial and trying to paint at the same time is too confusing, but there's a lovely time lapse of me and me watching Bob Ross is just like my face is just weird and um, I get self-conscious that my face looks like that at school. Um, it probably does, but thankfully we have to wear masks. I might stop recording for a bit. I don't It's actually been a while Um, I took the camera off of like that tripod thing and I want to show you like up close I actually like sort of fixed the ocean ocean, ocean situation and like added some like texture um The ocean sort of has texture, but like I don't uh, I don't know. I'll see up close. You see how there's like waves sort of I think I'm gonna get one more brush and try to add like Birds. I might be about to mess this up. I kind of don't want to add birds though. I do want to add some sort of cloud situation. I got one of these. It's like used though and it's like stale. I genuinely don't know if it's like good or not. I know it's not like amazing, but I kind of like the ocean. But like also I don't really like the, the whole thing at all. But also I don't know if I'm just like I'm too negative. But like also am I going to try to make clouds? Oh no, 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 no. I'm messing this up. But yeah, this is... Oh, I just ruined it. No. I mean, there's no turning back now, so I might as well like keep going. No, I shouldn't do that though. I should have just stopped or just like added birds or something. I don't know if you can see that over like this, but I just completely messed it up. It's upside down, but just imagine it like the right way. If I smudge it in with this thing, it's like stale though. Why do I kind of want to like take a shower and go to sleep and not ever see this again? I'd be kind of fine with that to be honest. And why do I kind of want to add birds? Like why is that the dumbest idea, but also I just want to add birds. Like I feel like birds just deserve to go in this. There's some parts of this that I like that I haven't messed up yet, but there's some parts that I just hate because I have messed them up. And so I'm just sort of not really caring. And I'm just going to do what I want because this video is already kind of a flop. I feel like we've already hit rock bottom or I feel like we're close to rock bottom. So we might as well like hit rock bottom, you know? And I mean, like I sort of made the, like it doesn't look like a cloud anymore which is good because that was not like a look and the last touch that i'm gonna add is the birds and then i'm calling this a day wait he's adding trees and a mountain i'm not doing that sorry okay but also i feel like my posture has just like permanently ruined my back it's like curved why did i like not even do the right like landscape i'm still calling this video following a bob ross tutorial i'm sorry i don't know what else to call it i have this black paint right here and i'm gonna draw a bird as we expected yeah this is a mistake wait why did i do this it does look like a closet hanger wait i'll draw one more bird 
for me, this is immediate. This is decent. That's my drawing. The birds literally ruined the whole thing. Does it look anything like Bob Ross's? No, because I just drew something else. Clickbait. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Come back next Friday because I post every Friday and I have a good video that I already filmed this week and it's good. Okay, bye. Thank you.